The early church, filled with God's grace, was so perfectly united in their love for God and for others that many Christians sold their land and possessions and distributed the money to those in need. But the power and unity that the early church enjoyed was challenged when Satan himself whispered in the ears of Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias said to his wife, let us sell our property, but instead of giving all the money we earn, we will secretly keep some of it ourselves. His wife agreed to the plan. Ananias was eager to lay his portion of money at the feet of the apostles. True, it was not everything he and his wife had earned from the sale, but it was a lot. He felt confident that it was enough to fool everyone into believing his lie, so he could walk away with the honor of men, and all without having to make the ultimate sacrifice of giving it all. But the Spirit of God revealed to the Apostle Peter how Ananias and Sapphira had conspired to lie about how much they were giving to the church. Peter confronted Ananias. This land belonged to you, and the money you made from the sale belonged to you. Why didn't you just tell us the truth? Instead of leading us to believe that you had given us everything, you have not lied to men, but to God. As soon as he heard those words from Peter, Ananias dropped to the ground and died instantly. The shocking news of the event spread quickly, and all those who heard it were filled with great fear. A couple of young men nearby wrapped up the body and took it outside the city to be buried. This sad story does not end with the death of Ananias. About three hours later, his wife Sapphira, unaware of what had happened, came before Peter. No doubt she was filled with pride about what she and her husband were presenting as a great and generous sacrifice. Peter asked her, Tell me, is this amount the price you and Ananias received for the land you sold? She replied, Yes, that is the price. Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the Holy Spirit and lie about the money? The same men who buried your husband have returned and will now bury you. As soon as she heard these words from Peter, she fell down at his feet and immediately died, just like her husband. The same young men who had just returned from burying Ananias took her body and buried her alongside her husband. And great fear seized the whole church, as well as everyone else who had heard about the tragic events.